Control Center. Airplane mode. Stream music rec. Low power selected. Stream re- open controls. Selected. Discord. Face me. Mess tele. Twitch. WhatsApp. Everything. Stream rec. Stop recording. Microphone. Off. Button. Microphone. On. There we go. Okay. You can still selected. do it. Screen recording. After you started Button. it. Okay. So. Maps. Home. What I want to show you here is the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro. They replace the mute switch with the action button, and you can customize it to do uh, lots of different things. And I'm going to show you what those are. So by default, it's set to be- toggle between silent mode and ring mode. If you don't have it set that way, you can uh, toggle silent mode from the control center, similar to the way you would do it on an Apple Watch. And it's just called mute in the iPhone's control center. So I'm going to go to settings. Doc, phone search, settings. Here we go. Settings. Control center. Button. And it put me right next to it because your action button settings are going to be between control center and display and brightness. So I'm going to swipe to the right. Action button. Button. Settings. Back button. All right. So we have a, an adjustable slider here. And that's how you choose what you want the action button to do when you press and hold it. Right now, I have it set to voice memos, but I'm going to go over it. I'm going to take it down to the bottom. Voice memo. Focus. Silent mode. All right. There's silent mode. That's the default option. And, of course, that's going to toggle between your ringer mode and your silent mode. Now, if I flick up, focus. that's going to allow you to quickly turn on a focus and here at this screen you can choose which focus that is if it's do not disturb the default is do not disturb but you can change that to any focus that you've had that you have set up such as sleep work anything like that camera camera it's going to automatically either take a picture or start a video whichever one you choose here and each for each one of these most of them anyway you can choose what you want it to do if there's more than one op- option. Like for the camera, there's you can choose between a photo and a video. Flashlight. Flashlight. Simple. If you want to turn your flashlight on quickly without having to go into the control center, you can just press and hold your action button and it will turn the flashlight on. When you're ready to turn it off, you press and hold it again and you can turn it back off. Voice memo. Voice memos. It immediately starts recording. It doesn't open the voice memos app. So if you want to record something in a hurry and you don't want to have to worry about going into the voice memos app to do that, it, I think you can even do it with your screen locked. It will start recording immediately upon the press and hold of that action button. That's the one that I have mine set to the most often. Magnifier. Magnifier. You can use your phone as a magnifying glass that uses the camera. So if you need to magnify a printed document so you can see it better, you can use the magnifier. Uh, you can have your action button set to use the magnifier. Shortcut. Shortcut. It, um, you, in theory, you would be able to uh, to select a shortcut for um, for this action button to do uh, to do. Well, I haven't actually played with that one yet, so I'm not even sure. Because if if you go to the screen. Shortcut. Open an app or run your favorite shortcut. Choose a shortcut. Okay, but now it's letting me see it. So you could actually choose uh, a shortcut for it to run when you press and hold the action button. Oh, shortcut. Adjust the accessibility. And accessibility. You can choose a an accessibility feature to toggle, such as voiceover or zoom or assistive touch. So if you don't want to press and hold the sleep wake button, you can do the action button instead. You can press and hold the action button. Let's quick choose a feature. Button. Let's, let's see what features are here. Activate the dismiss pop-up window. But accessibility. Heading. Okay. Heading. Image. Vision. The, uh... Classic invert. Classic invert reverses the colors of the display. Okay, classic Button. invert. Color filters. Color filters. Color detection mode. Detection, detection mode. mode on the magnif- increase contrast. Increase, increase contrast. Color contrast. Reduce, reduce motion. Reduce motion. Reduce transparency. Reduce transparency. Reduce, transparency. reduce light point. Reduce, reduce the light point. Of bright colors. Smart invert. Smart invert reverses the colors of the display. Smart invert. Except for images. Media. Voice over. Voice, Voice over. over items on this. So you could 
you could use the action button to toggle on and off voiceover if you don't want to or have difficulty double or doing the triple tap of the sleep wake button. So I'm going to go back. Accessibility. Head accessibility. Reduce transparency. Reduce for increased contrast. Provision. Heading. Access. Activate the dismiss pop up window. There we go. Okay. Settings. Access. Accessi- accessibility. Adjust. No action. And the last option here is no action. So if you don't want the action button to do anything, when you hold it down, you could choose this. So I'm going to take it back down to voice memos. Flashlight. Camera. Voice memo. All right. So those are the different things you can do with the action button. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. That's one. That's one of the reasons I wanted to go for the 15 instead of the 15 Pro instead of the standard 15 because the 15 Pro is the only one that has these 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. The standard 15 retains the mute switch. So I hope this was helpful. I apologize for the um, not microphone not being on in the beginning, but uh, there we go. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Control center. Screen mirroring. Selected. Here. Selected. 